Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for December 2021. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them and see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination. I can immediately picture all kinds of games that I could build. This one is the list of paid assets and effects. I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and the best tools and systems. Go watch those if you haven't seen them. Let me know which one of these you're most interested in and I might do a detailed review on it. As always, there's links to the assets in the description and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Also, right now Unity is having their end of year sale. There's over 8,000 assets on sale, including many that have never been discounted previously. If you've been watching these asset highlight videos for the past couple of months and adding some things to your wishlist, chances are some of those are now discounted. The sale ends in just 4 days, so if there's anything you want, make sure you get it now. And there's also a bunch of interesting humble bundles for game devs. There's one with a bunch of courses for learning Blender 3D modeling. I'm currently going through these myself, learning the basics. Then there's another one with tons of UI elements, lots of sliders, buttons and so on. Another one with lots of music. And these bundles are also ending soon, so check them out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with the latest Sinti pack, Sci-Fi Worlds. As usual, it's their signature low-poly style. This one is a massive pack. There's over 1200 prefabs, everything you can imagine in a sci-fi setting. You've got tons of characters, vehicles, buildings, lots of weapons and VFX. All of it in three different unique factions and several unique environments. Then if you need a giant pack with some awesome reverse dual blade animations, then look at this one. Dual wielding is always fun and even more fun when it's a reverse grip. Features all kind of animations, so the usual attack, combo, hit, jump, move and equip. And as usual, these are all humanoid animations, so they work with any humanoid characters. This developer has tons of really awesome animations, so if you like this style, check it out. Then if you're making some kind of office management game or something like The Sims, then look at these stylized businessmen. They are low poly, but not too low poly. It's a pretty nice cartoony style. Features five unique models, each of them with three hairstyles and tons of outfit variations. Or maybe you're making a game where you need some sort of detective or eagle vision, then check out this one. It throws out a pulse and then highlights all the enemies or objects and you can see them even through walls. So this is just like the detective mode in the Arkham games, or even Eagle Vision in Assassin's Creed. It's a pretty nice effect, and I'm guessing you can even modify the shaders to make it fit whatever game style you have. Up next, here's a pack with a bunch of really nice monsters, in total 20 characters, a bunch of dragons, stone monsters, dryads and bears. It's a really nice style, very fantastical. This one is the fourth volume, so if you like this style, check out the others. Or maybe you need a massive amount of RPG weapons, then look at this pack. All of them in a low poly style, everything from swords to bows, maces, shields and staffs. And each of them also has 64 color variations, so the actual total for this is a massive 25,000 unique combinations. Up next, some more really cool animations. This one is all about pistols, but it's much more than just normal standard pistol animations. It's got some really stylish ones, so think something along the lines of John Wick. You've got lots of takedowns with some really cool headshots, really awesome pack. Then for a nice texture pack, check out this one. It's got everything you expect, from some normal textures to some weird materials. This one is actually a bundle that includes 7 packs all in one, and as usual it's got a nice discounted price. If you need some props to populate your scene, look at this one. Quite a lot of generic props in a nice painted style. You've got bookshelves, beds, tables, bottles, and tons of food. Another really cool animation pack is this one. It's an office pack which looks pretty funny given how the characters they use is a really sci-fi looking guy. So it's just funny to see that model doing the general office things like being on the phone, on the computer, talking, moving the fingers and so on. Next up here's a bunch of surface shader effects. It's a pretty nice collection. You can make some auroras or maybe a flood or some fog or some weird lava or acid. Or maybe you're in need of some battlegrounds for your game then look at this one. Lots of environment objects, including a bridge and a gate, all of them with modular borders and tons of floors. So I could see this one as a great starting point for making a game kind of like XCOM or Mario Rabbids, or even something like Clash Royale. Then if you have weapons of any kind, here's a bunch of muzzle flashes. It's got lots of styles, from normal looking muzzle flashes to some sci-fi looking ones in some weird colors. This dev also has tons more VFX assets, as well as a really interesting YouTube channel. Or maybe you want tons of gorgeous looking environments, then look at this one. 
This one is a bundle, so it's lots of different packs all in one with a really nice discount. Features a regular planet, desert, forest, and a mountain. Up next, check out this one to polish your UI. It's a nice style that perfectly fits pretty much any RPG-like game. You've got tons of buttons, cursors, crosshairs, icons, and tons more. Then, if you'd like to make an RTS and you need some buildings, then look at this one. It's got tons of unique buildings, each with their own faction, so you could just grab this one and combine with some unit pack and very quickly make an RTS prototype. Then here's an office with a really cute art style. Includes both the workers with a really unique style, as well as tons of furniture for you to make whatever office you want. Then some more animations here. This one is all about talking. If you have lots of dialogue in your game, then a pack like this can really help. Instead of having your characters just walking forward while sound is playing, use these animations to really bring that dialogue to life. If you need tons of icons, then here's a great one. They're all in a flat style, so they would fit just about anything. And these are not static, they have some really nice animations. And if you're in need of a massive amount of unique people, then look at this one. It's got a hundred people, all in a low poly style, all of them unique in all kinds of weird scenarios. So you've got a standard construction worker, then a policeman, then for some reason you've got a guy in a rubber donut, there's a nun, a cook, and even a bunch of kids. Alright, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Asset Store for December 2021. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.